Disney Plus. I cannot protect you from what's coming. With Marvel Television's Agatha all along. Get ready for fireworks! Get ready for spectacle! Get ready for... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What in the... She's a real mystery, Agatha Harkness. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This will be my Agatha All Along Episode 6 trailer video. There are a whole bunch of Easter eggs, references. We finally started to get some big reveals about what's going on with Billy, a.k.a. Wiccan, inside the MCU. So we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. But obviously the big deal here is the cliffhanger at the end of episode 5 where Billy Wiccan seemed like he tried to kill the rest of the coven, which is with the exception of Rio. People are like, where's Rio when this is happening? Why isn't she here? If she does wind up being a version of death, does that have something to do with that? My assumption is that she was back in the trial. She was still getting ready to leave the room. She was busy claiming Alice's body because she's probably death. I do have some early theories about all the witches of the coven coming back to life by the end of the series. Like there'll be some twist where everybody's revealed to secretly be alive or they'll come back to life. Like there's this footage of Jennifer clawing her way out of the dirt the same way that Rio clawed her way into the witch's road when they called her with the spell. Maybe this is what happens to you after you die in the witch's road, like they bury you in the dirt and then you just crawl your way out in the real world. So it's totally possible that Mrs. Davis is just chilling out right now while they think that she's dead, but she's just day drinking in the real world in Westview having fun with her historical society. But now the big reveal is what's really going on with Billy. Like, why is he here? What is he looking for? Probably to do with Scarlet Witch and his brother Tommy. What is it that he wants from Agatha if he's so powerful? You're so much like your mother. Yes, yes, it's me, it's mommy. Within the MCU, if you haven't read any of the Young Avengers comics or any comics featuring Billy Kaplan, a.k.a. Billy Maximoff, a.k.a. Wiccan, He's meant to be the successor to Scarlet Witch inside the Marvel Universe, but also eventually become much more powerful than her. All of his abilities work similar to hers, like he has reality warping, his level of magic is about the same. But the way he exists now, you remember he's a teenager, he's still basically a baby in terms of learning to use his abilities. He's not nearly as powerful as the Scarlet Witch was during Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. But now I'm starting to think that it was Billy who put the sigil on himself because the way it works on the caster too, he probably just forgot that he put it on himself. And when you see the W and the M on his lips during the first couple of episodes, it's actually for William Maximoff, his true name. And I think part of the reason for using the Ouija reference for Agatha's trial is to explain how spirits can possess people's bodies, how Billy was able to come back and possess the body of Billy Kaplan here inside the MCU. So it's like young Billy's soul from WandaVision who died during the events of WandaVision when the hex came down just possessing the body of a completely different teenager who died in the MCU. Like, oh, there's an empty body here. I'll just borrow this. But it sounds like there's still a lot that Billy doesn't know and that's why he needed Agatha so badly. She has all this information about the way magic works inside the MCU and he needs those answers. But in the new footage, we actually see Agatha with mud all over her, making it seem like either Billy winds up coming to his senses and saving them from the mud or Rio helps save them from the mud. She'd also be pissed if Billy tried to kill Agatha because she's in love with Agatha. Like, please don't kill her. I need her for the future. Also, Billy needs her for the future, too. It seems like water under the bridge because the way they play it, like there are a couple of pratfalls here with Agatha falling on her face, but like they're covered in mud and she seems like she's none the worse for wear. Like, okay, let's just move on here, move on to the next trial. There was supposed to be a trial for every person that was there on the witch's road. And based on the footage, it does seem like we get trials for all the characters at different points. Because remember, there's going to be nine episodes total. So I'm assuming episode eight will be like the last trial. And then episode nine will just be like the conclusion to all that wrapping everything together. We haven't seen a trial for Billy himself yet, which seems like it takes the form of the flashback episode. Like there's a bunch of flashbacks during this footage explaining what happened to him up to this point, how he actually came back from WandaVision, why he really sought Agatha out, rescued her from Scarlet Witch's spell, and whether or not he's been lying to them about everything this whole time. And he's always had his power and just been hiding it using the sigil. My assumption is that's at least partially correct. Like he did probably put the sigil on himself, meaning that he would have had to have some of his abilities before this, but he still doesn't fully understand them, which also explains why Agatha said that she didn't put the sigil on him because she was criticizing it, calling it super clumsy, like the work of a lesser witch. Something that like a junior grade beginner witch would try to do. 
We haven't seen a lot of the Agatha flashbacks yet that are in the trailer, which seem like they're their own episode by itself, or maybe part of Rio's trial when they're explaining her backstory. It seems like they'll also give Rio her own episode where they explain all of her backstory too, like they've done for all the different characters. And we haven't seen Lilia's trial yet, which based on the footage I'm guessing is the Wizard of Oz themed one in the tower, where they all become characters from the Wizard of Oz. Like you see Agatha becoming the Wicked Witch of the West, because of course she's the Wicked Witch of the West. Lilia seems like she's going to be Glinda, the Good Witch of the East, and I'm not super familiar with the Wizard of Oz lore, but I'm assuming that makes Jennifer one of the Witches of the North or the South, and Rio just representing one of the other ones, or Billy representing the Wizard of Oz himself. Just based on the footage in the trailer, it seems like Billy's trial is Agatha and Billy inside this makeshift morgue with her waking up in one of the freezer drawers that they put the bodies in, and she seemingly uses her power to unlock Billy's mind or memories. This probably has something to do with him losing the sigil. Maybe Agatha tries to break Billy's sigil, paying off her explainer from earlier this season about how sigils work. The idea was is that they're broken, and they're broken when they're not needed anymore, and now that Billy's power is manifest, he's revealed himself, he doesn't really need the sigil anymore. And because you see her using her power with her hands on his head, it seems like breaking the sigil might have something to do with unlocking more of those flashbacks to Billy's backstory to explain what's happened since the events of WandaVision. It looks like we're also getting some flashbacks to like different perspectives from the first couple of episodes when he was breaking Agatha out of Scarlet Witch's spell. So like more scenes from the first couple of episodes, but from different perspectives. Like there's the scene here of Agatha saying, I can't protect you from what's coming, which we didn't see in the first couple of episodes. That's probably from Billy's flashbacks with him talking to Agatha and her speaking from inside the spell. It also seems like there's more Agatha and Rio flashbacks to much earlier in the timeline, like hundreds of years ago, to explain how Agatha met Death, aka Rio, how their relationship started, why Agatha started killing other witches to take their power in the first place, because you see her killing a bunch of other witches. They might try to get into the idea of what made her turn evil in the first place, because remember, she said that she couldn't control it when she was killing Alice, but that didn't seem totally true. Like, she actually seemed like she didn't start stealing her power till after her mother had left her body. We'll probably just get more flashbacks to explain the full context of that. Also to explain what really happened to Nicholas Scratch, it just feels like there's some key flashbacks that were missing for Agatha's story that they'll deal with in the last couple of episodes. Because my early theory is that they'll save Rio's trial, or like Rio's special episode, for like the final one. So like episode 8 of episode 9. To explain what's really going on with her and the idea that death is the final trial, Agatha will finally have to make peace with Nikki's death and make peace with death metaphorically, like make peace with Rio. Because remember the first episode she said, do you even remember why you hate me? Then later Rio implied that they were in a relationship and Agatha hated her for having to claim Nikki's body because it was quote unquote her job. Like death has to go around claiming souls of the dead. That led to Agatha breaking up with Rio, and early theory, that's one of the reasons why she wanted the Darkhold and she wanted Scarlet Witch's power during WandaVision so that she could find a way to bring Nikki back from the dead. Whatever winds up being Rio's trial, like Death's trial, will probably be Agatha eventually making peace with that, then the complete resolution during episode 9 sort of tying everything together and teeing up the return of Scarlet Witch herself, Elizabeth Olsen, and what's going on with Tommy right now. All because I think we're theorizing here, and this has been a theory for like the last couple years since we thought that Wiccan was going to show up in the MCU on this series. Seriously, it's been like two years since they announced they were going to do it. And we're like, you know what? We're probably going to see Billy during this series. The early theory is that we won't get like a full Scarlet Witch cameo during the finale. We'll just see her body or like see a version of Scarlet Witch in some different form like her spirit. Billy will learn what really happened to her and what he needs to do to actually bring her back. But at least in the finale, she'll still be lost to him currently. Like, she's not going to be alive and well in the finale. And while he's learning about that, he'll learn about what happened to his brother, Tommy, and he'll seek out to then go rescue them and bring them both back. But that'll probably be like a cliffhanger at the end of the finale, like some sort of post credit scene or like some sort of ending scene. All because there are a couple more WandaVision spinoffs that they're doing in supposedly the Scarlet Witch movie, which just seems like they're going to spread all that plot over those movies and those TV shows. So like this is the beginning of the slow return of Scarlet Witch to the MCU because she is supposed to show up during Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. So like somewhere in between there, like all these upcoming big movies, the Avengers movies, we'll slowly see all these characters come back. They didn't say what that other WandaVision spinoff is going to wind up being. We'll see. There could be some sort of Young Avengers related project with like Tommy coming back, Billy and Tommy or something like that. 
probably not going to hear a bunch of information about that for the next couple of years. They're probably mostly going to focus on promoting the Vision series after Agatha is done, just because like that's the next big WandaVision spinoff. But we're not supposed to get the Vision episodes to like 2026, so it will be a while before we see all these characters come back. When it comes to actual Scarlet Witch, like what is actually going on with her right now if her body was destroyed and she just stuck somewhere in limbo somewhere? There have been a lot of theories about them revealing her being in stasis somewhere outside of the main MCU dimension. Based on the way that Moon Knight canonizes the afterlife of the MCU, this series just supports a lot of what they set up in Moon Knight. The whole idea is that when you die in the main MCU universe, your consciousness just goes to another dimension based on your belief system or if you have a contract with another higher entity like a cosmic entity or another god. So at the end of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, when it seemed like Scarlet Witch's body was destroyed, there was that flash of chaos magic, it's possible that her magic just protected her and put her into stasis in some alternate dimension. If they're using a lot of witch tropes from pop culture during Agatha all along, you make like the Wicked Witch and Sleeping Beauty being in stasis. Imagine Scarlet Witch is like the Sleeping Beauty of that situation. She's just waiting somewhere, kept in stasis by her chaos magic, for Billy to find her and rescue her, bring her back to the main MCU dimension. Now waiting for everybody to start posting their Scarlet Witch Sleeping Beauty fan art after the series is done. Is she asleep? Mommy's not sleeping, honey. She is just resting her eyes. Resting her eyes. The next real big TV show inside the Marvel Universe will be Daredevil Born Again, which sounds like it's going to be absolute fire, like total peak. Cannot wait to see those episodes next year. It'll be completely different vibe, way more Earth-based stuff, completely separate plot. They've already released the first trailer for that a couple different times. It's like the same trailer. I've already done a couple videos for it, so I'll post a link at the end of this and down in the description below. Cannot wait to see John Bernthal come back as the Punisher and just wreck everyone during that. My full Agatha episode 6 video will post next week after they release it, so be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss that. Click here for that Daredevil Born Again trailer, and click here for all my Agatha all-long episodes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.